Turning now to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where at least 10 people are confirmed dead and 39 injured following a bomb attack on a church in North Kivu province. Local officials have cautioned that those numbers are still provisional. The Islamic State group claimed responsibility for that bombing, with the Congolese military blaming it more specifically on the Allied Democratic Forces, which is an IS group affiliate operating in Central Africa. Take a listen. It is clear this is a terrorist act perpetrated by the ADF MTN terrorists who have suffered casualties in several battlefields by the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, the ADF is indeed one of the deadliest of more than 120 different active armed groups in eastern DRC. It's been accused of killing thousands of civilians in the Congo and also carrying out bombing attacks in neighboring Uganda. Here's more from political scientist Douglas Yates. In fact, ADF has affiliated itself with the Islamic State, and the Islamic State doesn't have a lot of ability to act in that region, so they're very happy to be able to take credit, if by affiliation, for what's happened. But according to the UN, the ADF actually commands itself. In fact, what we've got is a movement that's on the run and committing these acts of butchery in order to survive. The Ruanziri mountain chains stand between Uganda, uh, Rwanda, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. It has everything that guerrillas need in addition to an economy of war. This group, the ADF, lives on contraband, on smuggling coffee, on smuggling wood, on smuggling gold. And that region is able, therefore, to fund these movements. They don't need external support. and it's proven impossible, 20 years of UN missions.